Hey, mom, can we get this one? Oh, and this one. And this one and this one. I said you could have a cat, Stacy. One. But what about all the other ones that don't get adopted? What if they die of loneliness? Just pick your favorite and let's go. Hum. Back at home. Welcome to your new home, Legion. Legion. Ah, what a long day. I'm exhausted. Welcome home, dear. How was work? Well, first I had a larger volume of clover to eat than usual, but then the boss dumped a bunch of dandelion on top of that. By the time I was done with it all, I only had 40 minutes to nap in the sun. Boy, sounds like a rough day. Hum yeah, I could really use some healing, snuggles right about now. So, uh, how was your day? Your son got a hold of the staple gun and stapled his sister's ears together. Later, he cried so hard about it that he threw up in the heating vent. I had to clean it out with a cake spatula. Welp, yours wins. Let's just say it's my turn to put the kids to bed tonight. Um. And did I mention I picked up some carrot cake ice cream on my way home from work? Stretch on over here and say that to me again. Hey, have you noticed anything weird about our humans? Oh, for sure. Like that weird, to leg a gate of this. How do they even manage to stay upright? Not that. And like, what's with their hair? Why is it on their head and nowhere else? Not that. I'm afraid I don't know what you mean. Their arms, dude. I'm talking about their arms. Oh, hum. I'll have to get a closer look. Yeah, no. Pretty sure most humans have arms. Hi Uncadrago. Do you mind, child? I'm trying to nap. Oh, so we. Oops, forgot something. If you come through that door one more time, welp, I will roar it off its hinges, understand? Hey, sweetie, could you run inside and get my wallet? Just don't wake Uncle Drago. He gets cranky. So, you want to make friends with a human, huh? Oh boy oh boy do I. Okay, lesson one and getting new human friends. A proper handshake. Handshake? Yes, you grasp the human's hand in yours and shake it. Um, alligators don't really have hands. We usually use our mouths for everything. I would advise against that. Also, since you tend to get overexcited, perhaps you should approach slowly so as not to appear threatening. Okay, I don't want to scare anyone. Alright, let's try it. Remember, calm approach and a polite smile. Got it. We are going to have to work on that technique a little bit. I overdid it, didn't I? Yeah, this is awkward. Can you even understand what they are saying? Hush, don't be rude. Thanks for inviting us to dinner, Mrs. Lobster. I sure am enjoying the... Um, what is it? Some sort of casserole. Uh, yeah. It's seriously. Um. Blurg herglerglicious. Anyway, you two sure are the herglergliest blurgles I've ever met. Ha ha ha. What? A uh, pun. That's their word. I don't think we are allowed to use it. Oh. Oh dear. Hap. 
Wow. Would you look at the time. We had a lovely evening, but I really think we should be headed home. Don't you, honey? Ugh. Why is it so hot and boring here in Savannah? Oh spit, guys. Is that the ice cream truck? Quick, catch it. Hum. Ice cream lady, wait. RRR, no, this isn't an ice cream truck. I just really like Pop Goes the Weasel. Okay, fine. I do have ice cream. But I was saving it for later. RRRRRRR. Or, we weren't fast enough to catch the ice cream truck. Why didn't she stop? So rude. Wait, I'll bet Gazelle can catch it. Huh, I guess. Quick, everyone. Give her your money. I have 40 cents. I've got a 50. I have a rock. Okay, here I go. Wow, as soon as I showed her that $50, she gave me so much ice cream. I'm stuffed. Thanks guys. You were supposed to bring some back for us, you donkey. Oh, whoops. This place looks familiar, gracious. Is this? Yes. The home of the youngest child I ever gave coal to. He was so naughty that he made the naughty list when he was only an infant. Looks like that hasn't changed. He's set to receive coal again this year. Pity. Oh, well. At least his parents left a plate of cookies out for me. How thoughtful. Or, what is this? Coal? The milk is cold too? This isn't right. I have to get out of. What the? Well well well. I notice there aren't any presents under my tree. Perhaps you'd like to remedy that, Mr. Claus. I hear the farmer is getting a new ball today. But, I just hope he's big this time. Hayes, yes, Miriam. Because that's what's important. Forget about his personality. Girl, I'm not here to form lasting relationships. I'm here for a good time. I want him beefy. I want him bulky. And most importantly, I want him good and whore. Okay, Miriam. Why is everyone so obsessed with big horns, anyway? Jeez. I don't know, Jess, but society demands it. And who am I to question what the masses dictate is attractive? I want horns bigger than his head. Okay, Miriam. I want him so big that he has balance problems. Um hum. I want him to have to struggle to get through doorways. That's just unrealistic. Well, dear, I hope you get everything you're looking for and more. But I seriously would not bank on it. Oh, Jess, look. He's here. Ho 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 holy cow. Oh, bullshit. Don't worry, buddy. Nothing's going to change, just because you have a cone on your head. You can still play fetch, and eat treats, and do everything a normal dog does, okay. Can I still lick my butt, though? Well, uh, no. No more butt licking. No oh 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 oh. Okay, okay, calm down. That is literally the only thing that's different. Oh 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 oh. You can go outside, though. How about it? Wanna go outside? Oh, 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 okay. Come on, let's go. Thank you for watching. We post videos every day.
please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to not miss the latest videos. Thank you and see you soon.